All right, folks. So what we're going to do is install some Visual Studios for Windows 7 here. Um, and the first thing I did was just search for Visual Studios. That brought me to visualstudio.com. What you'll see here is that there is a Community 2015 link. So I'm going to click on that. And it downloads this, this hefty little thing here. You can see that I already downloaded it once. So here it is. Um, I'll go ahead and run that. And my monitor is way bigger than my video capture ability, so you'll have to bear with me here. So I'm going to go ahead and say run. It's going to install things. Um, we're waiting for it to come up here. It asked me what kind of install do I want. I'm going to go ahead and choose custom because I do actually want the C++ stuff, the Visual Studios C++ stuff. Let's see if it's in this list here. Programming languages. Visual C++, you can grab everything else if you want. Python might be nice. Um, so go ahead and select that. Clicking next down here at the bottom, although you can't see it. And I'm clicking install now. It asked me if I'd like to allow this to happen. I say yes. Creating a system restores point and doing the install. Um, that's more or less it. I don't I don't see anything else that you might possibly need to do. I'll go ahead and let this run for a couple of seconds, but if the download's gonna take a while, then it probably doesn't make sense to sit here and watch it in video form. So you search for Visual Studios, download com Community 2015. Once you get to the custom standard, choose custom. And at that point, make sure that you go to programming languages and choose Visual C++. Um, in my next video, I'll get to writing your first program that does some output um, but for now this should at least get you to the point where you can install some Visual Studios in your machine. On Mac OS X it might be a little bit different you might have to drag an application into your application folder but hopefully the Mac folks are used to that but if not follow the instructions make sure you go ahead and get the Visual C++ aspect of the 2015 download as well. Okay that's it.